Good morning, my beautiful diamond. Sheila True Love here with you. I was listening to a beautiful lady and you know what she's sharing here. This is exactly the way I've, I've always felt and people tried to make me seem like there was something wrong with me. I think that if there were more lat marriages, the marriages would definitely, the people would still be married. I don't think that the divorce rate and the separation rate when you put it together, it's at least like 90% because they say the uh, divorce rate is 50%, which I know that must have gone up by now. I know that for a fact. And you look at all the people who are separated because they can't afford to get a divorce. A lot of people want out, but they can't afford it. So they stay stuck and trapped and tied down. But this lady here, she agrees with, oh my God, it's totally perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Dear Dusty. Okay, so we all out here dating, and I was just thinking something. Tell me if this sounds like you. I want somebody, but just sometimes. I want to get married, but you stay at your house, and I stay at my house. Yes. And then you come over, or I go over there, and we... We kick and we have a good time and all that stuff. But then I go back to my house or you go back to your house. Thank you. And we married. <laughs> Tell me if that sounds like you. Yes. That, that would be perfect for me because I don't even really, I don't really want you like that. I do. I want you, but just sometimes. Okay. So we all out here dating. Absolutely. And do you know how refreshing it is? And it feels to see that I'm not the only person thinking like that. You know, thank God for the internet and social media because I love social media. A lot of people say that it ruined uh, our lives. But what is the definition of insanity? Insanity is when you keep doing the same thing over and over again and it's not working. We see how high the divorce rate is. We already know that. And like I already mentioned, the separation combined is like 90%. This living together thing, it's not working. And you think about it, if he has his place, that could be your travel buddy. We travel back and forth. <laughs> he has his place. You have your place. You sleep over his place sometimes. He comes over to your house. Or even if you have separate bedrooms, because when I look at like the classic movies, a lot of these women, they had their own bedroom. He has a, she has her own queen size bedroom. Nice. He has his own uh, king size bedroom, what have you. And every time he sees you, you know, like when you get up in the morning, you get a chance to make yourself look beautiful and adorn yourself real nice. And you get that chance to do all of those things. That sounds like a win-win to me. So I ask myself, if I had that arrangement, would I still be married? No, I wouldn't still be married because my second husband, um, no, no, because I need somebody who can simulate me more mentally. And I also, um, you know, I, I can't deal with no man, you know, who's cheap and stingy and, and all of that. I can't be so bothered with that. You know, uh, my first husband, well, if he wouldn't have cheated, yeah, that would have worked perfectly. You know? I remember I used to sleep in the living room sometime because, and that used to, he didn't like that because you have some people who are like very clingy, very needy and whatever. Uh, and that used to upset him sometime, but I needed my space so I can recharge my battery. I needed my space away, but he wanted me to sleep with him in bed all the time. Everything, whatever child. No, no, uh, uh no. Um, but I like what she said. I, I agree. Let's play her again. Go ahead. Dear Dusty. Okay, so we all out here dating, and I was just thinking something. Tell me if this sounds like you. I want somebody, but just sometimes. I want to get married, but you stay at your house, and I stay at my house. Oh, yeah. And then you come over, or I go over there, and we, we kick and we have a good time and all that stuff. But then I go back to my house. Or you go back to your house and we married. <laughs> Tell me if that sounds like you. Because that would be perfect for me. Because I don't even really, I don't really want you like that. I do, I want you, but just sometimes. Okay, so we all out here dating. 
And I was just mm. and, and it's just so true also. Let's think about the passion in these marriages and how the passion just dies down. You know, they say absence make the heart grow fonder. You know? Uh, too much absence will make the heart wander. So that's why you have to be balanced. You can't overdo it. But I love that idea. You have your place. I have my place. You you come over and spend a night with me sometime. I spend the night with you. I'll see you three days out of the week. I got four days off. Or we can have four days together. Or th well, I don't know. Three. Three strikes are out. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in three days at a time. It's good. Monday through Friday, you're supposed to be busy working anyway. So when you get off work, aren't you, and now he has to clean his own house. You don't have, don't go over to his house cleaning his house because you have your own house to clean. So that would help out a lot. And even if you have children, he have the kids for a week or whatever. It, it works. It just works. And that's why they have the LAT. And so far the LAT is looking pretty good. Living apart together. You're still faithful to each other, still faithful. But you got your space. You got your freedom. Let's read some of the comments here. One woman says, having two master bedrooms has kept me married for 24 years. But you notice she says it kept her married. She didn't say happily married, which most married people never use the word happily. They just say married. Another woman says, adjoining house with a walkthrough attaching the houses so I don't have to go outside have an adjoinment that runs through whatever okay you have a life partner and a traveling buddy uh another person says listen and she has exclamation exclamation i thought i was alone in these thoughts this could be a solution for those of us who are really comfortable living solo but would enjoy committed companionship because, you know, according to the Bible, you're not supposed to be having sex without marriage. The Bible recommends staying single. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, at the same time, it says, but if you can't control yourself sexually, it's better to marry than to burn. So you're not supposed to be having this. It's a win-win. It's just a win-win. You're pleasing God in Christ. There's no problems. This is only... For grown-ups, of course. You have to be mature. Well, they say black women are for grown-ups anyway. One woman says, I want to be married, but only on Mondays and Thursdays. <laughs> Listen, sis, I've been married for 20 years, and we actually have our own space. He has the upstairs, they have a house, and I be downstairs. And then we see each other whenever I want to be bothered. That's nice, too. If you have a house and he lives upstairs or downstairs, whatever. Hell yeah. Because all of this sitting up here on top of me constantly day in and day out. Um, no, honey. And then, you know what used to bother me a lot too? Was get on my last nerve. We live together. You see me every day. But you want to call me constantly? I'm at work. I'm busy. And you calling me. Why? I just want to hear your voice. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I, no, I know. That's nice, baby. Thank you. I thank you. But please don't do that anymore because I'm busy. But of course he don't listen. He never didn't listen. He's still calling me or whatever. And then when my tone is not loving and friendly, I asked you, you know, it's called boundaries. If you want us to get along, isn't that the purpose of setting boundaries? You calling me too much, dude. I'm going to see you at home. Oh, lies, child. Anyway, I'm single. I'm happily single. I love being single. It's one, more peaceful. I get to march to my own beat. I don't have nobody constantly telling me what to do, what I can't do, where you at, what, you, what? No, mm, mm No. Anyway, my darlings, how does that, how do you feel about that? Will that work for you? And you get to be beautiful every time he sees you. Every time he sees you. Glamorous and beautiful. And then you can keep the passion in your marriage. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.